So what do you got? What do you got going on, man? Uh, nothing much. I mean, I, we're starting to run a few prints on the TiVo now, and uh, the biggest thing I found, <laughs> and it's kind of funny too, is that you know all these printer kits come with everything you need to get started, but the TiVo unfortunately didn't come with the spool holder. So we've been kind of, uh, you know, MacGyvering it. I had this clamped onto the side of the table, and I had the spool hanging on here for the beginning of a couple of benches, and it just got too late, so I canceled it, and I was like, I need a spool holder, so. That's kind of where I'm sitting right now. I kind of need a spool holder. Well, I've I've got a design I started for the uh, use on the H2 a while back. Um, maybe I can pop that up in Fusion 360 and see if I can get that finished and shoot it over to you. Um, you're going to need your big GMAX to be able to print it. It's kind of a a large file, but um, you you want to try to give that a run? Yeah, that would be cool. I've got some open print time right now and I've got some of that uh, that jet gray that really cool jet gray color that I got from matter hacker so that'll look really cool on there so yeah let, why don't I do that is there anything else I need for the spool holder you will probably need some three-quarter inch PVC but that's about it three-quarter inch PVC let me write that down three-quarter inch PVC all right so I'll just uh, let me take a ride up to Home Depot and uh, I'll grab a burger and some PVC and then uh, I'll meet you back here and uh, see where you are with the design. Sounds good. All right. I'll see you in a little bit. All right. So for the spool holder, I wanted something that would be simple to print, although it does take a large printer to do it. Uh, but I wanted something that would be simple to print and adjustable so that it could be used with different size spools and it could be built without any expensive um, other add-on items or other pieces. So I started off with this basic shape and what I did was I created these three circles of 40 millimeters and spaced them out on a triangle. Uh, then I created these arcs in between here, the outside arcs and then the inside arcs, and I went ahead and extruded those out six millimeters, and we get this basic shape, and that's going to be the frame of where we're going to go with this. I then added additional circles on those outside areas there, and extruded those up another six millimeters to create these pads and give it a little bit of strength and a larger surface area here for it to set on. Okay. So then I created 20.5 millimeter circles at the center of each of those bottom two pads. The 20.5 millimeters is the metric measurement for the inside of a piece of common three-quarter inch PVC pipe. So the goal was with this was that I would extrude that up just far enough that it can slide onto a piece of PVC pipe um, and those can act as our lower supports for it. Now we'll take that a little bit further here and for that top area what I did was I created two circles again centered on the pad and then I created a line to divide them in half so that we had a, uh, a lower crescent. Then when I went and extruded that out, it created a nice cup, if you will, so that another piece of three-quarter inch PVC can drop into that. So to, to utilize the spool holder, all you do is put your top piece of PVC through your spool and it just rests right inside that cup. The rest of the model here is just adding some embellishments. I added um, fillets to all of the, uh, the corners and the rounded areas. And up here, just to give it a nice cosmetic appearance, it's less functional than anything. It's just more to, to make it pretty. Um, but it gives it this, this really nice look. So if we were to look at this in a render, it looks something like this. Um, now if I try to rotate it, it's going to sit on your desk in this orientation here so that there's a piece of PVC between these two 
and at the top, and you would print two of these, one for either side. Let's rotate that so you have the side view there. So you have PVC spreading across to create the bottom braces, and then a third piece just drops in from the top. So now before I send this up to Jeff to print, I'm actually going to export it and enlist the help of Dustin the Jatman. I'm going to have him print it out locally for me just so that I can make sure that the tolerances and the sizes of both this upper cup and these lower pegs uh, are accurately fitted for a piece of PVC pipe. Once I get that back from Dustin, I will go ahead and export this over to an STL and I will send it up to Jeff to print on his GMAX uh, so that he can print two of them and put them into use on his TiVo. So I, I'm back from Home Depot. I've got some PVC. How are we doing with the design? Good, good. Design's uh, done. It's pretty solid. I actually had Dustin locally here print out a, uh, a test piece for me. I'm trying to get that oriented. Oh, nice. So, so the, the two adjustments that I did end up making is I ended up shortening this up on the final version. Okay. And I ended up fattening these up a little bit. They were the diameter was a little bit too small to fit comfortably into the uh, the three quarter inch PVC. I shortened this up so that you didn't need as long of a bridge to go across and you could keep the entire thing uh, narrower. But it's pretty sturdy. I mean, it's got a little bit of flex to it, but it's going to stand up well. Awesome. Um, so I've got it copied onto an SD, uh, SD card for you. So let me hand this over to you. Okay, perfect. We'll let you get the print there. All right, I got it. Awesome, there we go. Awesome, yeah, I will uh, load this up on the GMAX and I'll load up some of that jet gray filament. I know I've got plenty of room on here to print both of them at the same time. And I think, I'm gonna guess around six, seven hours, you know, that should give me plenty of time to print it out. And then uh, I'll get back to you and I'll show you how the print went. Sounds good, we'll see you back here when you get done. All right, Chris, I'll talk to you in a little bit. Thanks. Bye.